Yo, what is up? Shamrock Rovers Fan TV here. Now we're over here with another episode of LOI Weekly, so let's get into it. Now, in the past week, Rovers had their first game of preseason against Lucan United, and they lined up with. It wasn't an incredibly strengthened squad, but it wasn't too bad. Like Alamanis, I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Dunn, Lopez, Grace, Lafferty, Bolger, McInef. Like, you've got five, well, Burke, Burn. So you've got seven starters there. And then Dean Williams, who I think in the future is going to be very good. Did very well last year in the first division. And um, yeah, so we went into it and it wasn't very, you know, I think we really should have done better than we did. They went into half time, 2 1 to Rovers. They made a lot of changes. Leon Poles, who I wasn't surprised, played, came on. O'Brien came on. Liam Scales made his debut for us. Neil Ferruja came on. O'Neill Watts, Brandon Kavanagh, Olivia Green, and a try list. Wonder who that is. So, yeah, 3 1, Gary O'Neill scored. Um, wasn't the toughest game, but maybe we should have made it a bit easier for ourselves against. They're not a great team, but they're not too bad either. Now, our first transfer. Derry signed Stephen Mal Malone from Sheffield United. Just for a six-month loan. I think he will do well coming over from England. It's only for six months, so he probably won't last a full year. I don't know if they're going to get him on a permanent. I don't think they will. But look, you never know. I think Derry are pushing for maybe third this year. Fort was good last year, I think. They're going to concentrate a lot on the league more than Europe. I think they should try and do well, but I think the league is more important, to be completely honest. Now, Shane McElhenney signs for Finn Harps. It's a good signing for Finn Harps. I, think, I do think they will go down, and it will be sad, you know. Just stayed up this year with playoffs. Um... I do think they will go down, and I think it's going to be very close next year. Because really, this year, there was only one team, and it was Finn Harps that everyone thought would go down. I think if UCD kept players like O'Neill, Ferruja, the Grell could have stayed up. Um, I think next year it's going to be very tight. Teams like Waterford going down. Yeah, good signing for Finn Harps. They have made a few good signings, but I think... They'll need to make a lot more if they do want to stay up. Now, Finn Harps also signed Carlo Sullivan. Played for Limerick last year and obviously went free agent because unfortunately Limerick got expelled from the league. It's a good signing. Uh, yeah, I think hopefully Limerick can come back and they probably won't go back to them. And I think if they do come back, they're going to have to build a new squad. It's a good signing. Now, some awards went around recently. The Personality of the Year Awards. Gary Rogers got Goalkeeper of the Year. And Vinnie Perth got Personality of the Year. Which, yeah, the awards went on. Um, yeah, I don't really have much to say. Yeah, I hope... I think Gary Rogers has been very good. And Vinnie Perth, it's going to be really... It's been really hard for... It's normally very hard when a manager, new manager comes in. He comes in nearly wins the travel in his first year. I think he's a very good manager. Now, Mikey Drennan has left St. Pat's. And I think it's very bad for St. Pat's. Because of Scary Shaw leaving. I think Dean Clark, who did sign a new contract, is going to have to lead the line now. Um, and also, I think he's going to be linked with Waterford. Because Waterford lost Walter Figueroa to Derry. Which I think would be a good signing for Waterford. They're also linked to a Yo Yo Maddy. Should be a good signing as well. For any club, Yo Yo Maddy's a good signing. Especially for your bench or your reserve team. Because he's a very good striker. Now, Romeo Parks has left Sligo, which is. It's not the best for Sligo, and he's. Yeah, he's gone to New Mexico. And I think. I'm sad for the League of Ireland because he was a very good striker. A lot of pace, and hopefully he can come back because he's a very good player. Now, Dan Carr, you can see there, number 14, who recently made his international debut, has been released by Apollon Limassol. And you might say, 
it's not linked to the LOI. He did play for Shamrock Rovers and he is very heavily linked back to the League of Ireland. I don't think Bradley will take him back after what Bradley said when he left. But I think it would be a good shout maybe for Sligo because he does a pace a bit like Romeo Parks. Now guys, there we go. We're going to have to end it here. Um, if this video gets 15 likes, I'll do kit reviews on the kits for the League of Ireland. Make sure to like and subscribe. What do you think about these transfers? Let me know in the comments. Go follow my Twitter, at Rovers underscore TV. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.